Okay, so it looks like the system is finished. So now let's eject it. And when ejecting from Windows, you should always use the safe eject because you never know if data is being buffered and you might lose some data. <laughs> All right, so it's indicating that it is now safe to remove the hardware. So I can go ahead and disconnect the USB cable and stow it back in the box. Close my laptop. Um, oh, I guess this note should be made. When you're recording in the field, turn off your monitor. <laughs> uh, the monitor actually takes up more juice than the camera and the DVR combined. So leaving it on would be a big no-no because it would uh, considerably reduce the amount of uh, available power that you're going to get from the batteries. So before you close the case out in the field, make yourself a checklist and make sure that at the top of that checklist is monitor is off. And remember that you have to hold down the power button for at least two or three seconds to have it turn off. Okay. So I've left the system on. Now let's talk about charging. Okay. So as I mentioned in the first video, the charger has two modes. One is a quick charge mode, which takes about nine hours charge both batteries simultaneously and the other is a trickle charge which gives you that little extra once the batteries are fully charged it can take them just a bit farther okay so here's the switch that selects your rate 10 amp rate is to the right 2 amp rate is to the left um, there's a full charge and power on light indicators. The correct procedure for this is make sure that everything is off by turning off the switch. Okay, we're off. Disconnect the umbilical cable from the battery compartment. Make sure that your charger is disconnected. Connect your red gator clip to the red post on either one of the batteries. And connect the black post to the black gator clip. Please don't get these swapped. Red is red, black is black. Okay, play extra close extension and you won't have any problems. Now we can plug in the battery and let's switch over to the 10 amp rate. Now we haven't been using the system all that much so it should charge back up relatively quick uh, probably in the next hour or so it should be fully charged. Um, If you want to prevent somebody from accidentally causing damage, I would recommend that you carry the back camera far, far away so that someone doesn't just see the cable unplugged and decide to plug it in while the system is charging. And also you can take out the batteries individually and charge them on their own just by disconnecting that cable. So now only the battery that's currently connected is being charged and the other one can be used to power the system if that's what you want to do. But if you are charging the batteries in that mode I recommend that you take the battery that you're charging out of the enclosure to prevent any confusion or inadvertent power on of the system while the system is being charged as that may likely kill your camera. Well we don't really know that for sure but who wants to find out. 